If you're currently wondering what divorce costs, let me tell you, it can be a real shocker. But don't worry, in this video, we're going to break down everything that you need to know to keep those costs in check. We'll also explore what can make a divorce absolutely more expensive and ways to potentially save some serious cash. But before we jump in, if you're going through a divorce or even just thinking about it, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I'm Bobby Friel and you know, I've been through a divorce and I've had dozens of clients with their equity buyouts, their home sales and new home purchases after a divorce is finalized. And we're trying to build a supportive community here at the Just Living Realty Divorce channel. And you won't want to miss out on all of the great content coming your way to help out. Now let's break down the different ways to get divorced in Colorado and how much they might set you back. There are three main options. This is where you hire an attorney to fight for you in court, the litigation process. It can get expensive quickly, even if you don't go to trial. Now think of it like hiring a champion for a fight. It's effective, but it could cost a pretty penny. There's a neutral third party of the mediator that helps you and your spouse work out an agreement. It generally costs less than the litigation, but it does involve some fees. And mediation is a guided negotiation where you get a voice, but with a helpful guide as well. And then you can DIY it, which is what I did. This involves filling out forms yourself and potentially using online resources. It's the cheapest option, but only recommended in simpler cases without kids or both parties are amicable about the division of assets and debts. It's just like assembling furniture without instructions. It can save money, but it can be more costly if you make mistakes and very time consuming if you make mistakes as well. Now here's an example to consider. Suppose you and your spouse have been married for a few years, you have no children and own only a car together. You might be okay with a DIY divorce if you can agree on how to split the vehicle. However, if you have a house, retirement accounts, or any disagreements, mediation or an attorney might be a safer bet. Now you might ask, why is litigation so expensive? Well, there's a few reasons. Of course, it's the court system. The court system can be slow, complex, leading to higher fees. It's just like you're getting stuck in rush hour traffic. It just takes longer to get where you're going and there's more gas. There could be malpractice concerns where lawyers are worried about getting sued if they don't explore every option, which could drive up costs. Then there's strategy versus settlement. And sometimes lawyers focus on winning the arguments instead of finding that common ground. And it can be more like two kids arguing over the last cookie. Nobody really gets satisfied and the cookie gets crumbled. So what do you do? Consider your situation. If a divorce is simple and amicable, mediation or DIY obviously is going to be okay. But for those more complex situations, an attorney can save you time, money and stress in the long run. Definitely want to talk to professionals, mediators and lawyers. They can offer consultations to discuss your options and costs. And you're getting different quotes from contractors. You might be best fit for your project. And that's just the basics about what we want to consider are some other costs as well. First, let's talk about starting the process. Now, kicking things off officially involves a petition, a case information sheet, and a summons to appear in court. This typically costs about 230 bucks for both spouses without kids. Now, finding your spouse, there's service fees. Colorado law requires notifying your spouse about the divorce, and this service can be done by a professional process server, the sheriff, or an impartial adult familiar with the rules. Now, costs can vary depending on the method that you choose. Now, avoiding service fees. Now, if you're in your spouse agreed to weigh the service requirement, you can skip those fees altogether. Then of course, there's legal representation like attorney fees. And now this is the part again, that can be quite expensive. Hiring a divorce attorney in Colorado typically starts around 200 bucks an hour. Some offer flat fees or negotiate based on your case's complexity, but all in all, it's important that you find the right fit for your situation. And what if there's temporary support, temporary orders, during the divorce process, the court might issue temporary support orders for one spouse to financially support the other. And this can include spousal support, child support, based on income, resources, and various needs. Now, costs can range to hundreds to thousands of dollars depending on the support. The Colorado Judicial Branch Maintenance Calculator can help you estimate potential obligations financially. Next, we're on to gathering the evidence. Now, this stage involves collecting evidence to support your case. Now, it might include witness testimony, financial reports, and various records, medical records, school history, property records. This is where the fees can arise. Each institution holding your requested records might charge a small fee. There's witness fees. Serving a subpoena to compel a witness to appear in court can cost around 60 bucks, depending on the location. And there's expert witness fees. What if you need a professional, a doctor? You might need to compensate them for their time and travel. 
And if you're seeking alternatives, you might want to consider mediation. This less adversarial approach involves a neutral mediator facilitating discussions with you and your spouse to reach the agreements. And while mediators charge by the hour, typically a few hundred dollars, it can be significantly cheaper than a full trial. Settlement agreement review with even in a mediation, the attorney might be helpful to review and finalize the divorce settlement agreement before submitting it to the court. But yes, if mediation fails, a trial becomes the option. Now trials can be lengthy, lasting several hours or days or even weeks. And lastly, let's talk about some really important factors affecting costs that you might not want to ignore. The type of divorce. An uncontested divorce is where you and your spouse agree on everything. It's generally much cheaper than a contested divorce with disagreements requiring a trial. If you have children, divorces with minor children often involve child support payments and determining parental responsibilities leading to potentially higher costs. Special needs children might require additional professional help. Now, if spousal support is granted, one spouse might have to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars a month for years. And reaching an agreement beforehand can save you money. And what if there's property division? Now, Colorado courts divide marital assets and you might lose a significant portion of your assets after the final decree. Additionally, if you're ordered to leave the marital home, finding new housing can add to your monthly expenses. Here's the thing about property division in divorce. It can be very stressful. You might worry about losing your home or finding a new place that fits your budget. But you know, that's where someone like me can help. Not only am I a real estate agent, I'm also a licensed loan officer who understands the unique challenges of navigating the housing market during divorce. I can help you navigate the process of selling, refinancing your existing home, or finding a new place that fits your needs even better and ensuring that you get the best possible outcome. Let's work together to turn this transition into a fresh start. Feel free to reach out by phone, email, text. Better yet, you can get to the front of the line by looking at the top pinned comment or the description and find a link directly on my calendar. And while you're here, enjoy one of these other videos so you can really get stabilized during this stressful potential time for you in divorce. And you know, as always, get out and enjoy our Colorado sunny days. Stay sweet.